Alright guys, welcome to episode 2 of Zero Server Play slash Server Management slash Setup Series. So, as you guys see, I worked a little bit on our spawn and I have my other account, my alternative account, my other check online. I was using it to test some, some player stuff and I think I have set up all the permissions for the players. But I haven't done it for the admins or the mods, so that is something that I have to do. But this is what I did to a spawn. I think I like it like that. I think it looks pretty, pretty decent like this. And I did it like that. Yeah, and then I added some beds. But one thing I realized is too close. So we're going to do one thing. I'm going to do this. This. I'm going to expand one up. Right, yeah, one up. And I'm gonna do do cut. I'm gonna move it I'm gonna move it. Thought I could copy the bats with it, but maybe not. I'm gonna fill this with Fill grass. No. Set grass. Okay. Then I'm gonna do this. Or maybe, I don't know. So, I want it to be maybe <coughs> like this. So, here and here paste what ah. undo undo and undo oh Guess you can't do copy paste like that. Oh well. <sighs> oh no, maybe I can do copy this. Uh, no, I'll just build it manually. Yeah, let's just do that. That, that, that. that. Get all three blocks. Let's move it. Uh, while we add it, maybe just add one more bed. So I'm gonna throw this bed away and we'll use this to make the beds. <coughs> so. What I didn't like is that it was so damn close. And also I removed the sign and the, and the block that was on it to indicate the spawn direction of the player and replace it with a gold block. It was more easy for me to see. Alright, what I'm thinking... It was like... Two or so blocks, maybe have it... Like this away. Uh, Maybe have it. How does this look? Yep, low stone, low stone. Stone bricks. Maybe it's four blocks away. Yeah, I think I like that. So that's what we're gonna go with. What with this? Stone brick. Low stone, low stone. Stone brick. No, stone brick. Am I using. Yeah, I'm using. Non monster eggs. And I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I'm gonna put the bed. And let's have four of them. Because I wanna have the chest, no, have the sign in the middle, so that's what we are gonna do. So, one bed, stone brick, low stone, low stone, <coughs> chiseled stone bricks, no. A bit and stone bricks. Here we can put the sign. And we're going to spawn. And I want to have colored sign. So I think it was A. Yeah, it was A. Spawn beds. And my lay is now AFK. Don't think I restarted the server since I changed the delay timer. I changed it from 5 minutes to 10 minutes. 
because I think the five minutes, five minutes AFK time is too short. <laughs> so like this, no, neglect like this, and like this. Now put regular stone bricks, and regular stone bricks. Low stone, low stone, low stone, low stone, and again regular stone bricks like that. Then we're gonna put the other two beds. Yeah, I like that. Now, what am I doing? What am I doing? Alright, this is better. <coughs> and we have some beds at spawn for our players to use. So, also guys, I got locket working. And I had some problem with the version that I had first, so I went and got the 1.7.10. Didn't think about it, but I must have accidentally gotten a 1.8 version, so I got the correct version. Then I realized players could place hoppers and hopper minecarts underneath them to steal items from them. So I installed the plugin, let me see plugins, I installed friendly hopper, which prevents you from from placing down hoppers under chests that you don't own. Plus it completely prevents you from placing Think hopper minecarts on a rail, which I don't, I don't completely like. But if I find something else or something better than that, then I will replace it. But for now, I'll have that set up like it is. And at least we have protected chests that are working. So I want to set the time today. Time set zero, and we're gonna TP over to my alternative cat Miley. So we are here. I've been playing a little bit survival on on that account just to test out the server and see if everything is okay. I've enabled buy and sell commands. No, there's no buy command. What am I saying? The sell command and the worth command. <coughs> and I guess I'm gonna have them. So when a uh, when a staff member opens a uh, a chest. That is owned by someone. All admins will get this message, but normal players will not. So I'm looking at my Chicks screen right now. I'm running Minecraft with that account on my laptop, and no message appears. I also I added the rules, so if I do slash rules, then I've added this. These are Kind of the same rules that were on my other server, but yeah, these are rules that I like. And I've just been doing some little bit of stuff, little bit of creative, no, little bit of survival on that. So, I'm gonna get a grass block, I'm gonna put that block back where it is, and I'm gonna mute, where is the mute button? You're the mute button. I'm gonna mute the sound of the laptop so it cannot be heard. So, there's my little chick. Also, Open inf. You got that working like. I think it was working. Oh, yeah, joke. Opened my own account. Opened my own inventory. Oh, that's hilarious. Here I have. I can open my Netflix account. I can take her bread. And I can do whatever I want to do with her inventory. This is very handy for admins to have. And that. I think that is it for this. So let's go back to spawn. Spawn. So let's start working here. I think we're gonna create the spawn protection now. So, mm, yeah, I think I wanna go further than that. So we're gonna get. How about going? Mm, don't know completely how many blocks that is, but let's go a little bit further out. So, how about one, two, three? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. How about going twenty blocks <coughs> in each direction to begin with? And as you guys may see, I have removed pretty much almost every plant. There might be some that I missed, but I think I got mostly everything cleaned out. So, guess we're gonna enlarge our our spawn area. Uh, it 
while well, well, I think twenty is enough. Let me see. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, <coughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Uh, let's try that for now. And I need that lowstone. I need that lowstone. So give me that lowstone, and I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna remove that lowstone from the other one, as that is the old marker. And we're gonna do that to all of them. So let's do that real quick. So if you guys are watching it, then it's already 2016. I'm recording this on New Year's Eve day, on the day of New Year's Eve. So I wish you guys happy New Year's. Yeah, it's gonna be fun for me tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and like here. Isn't this right? I think it is. I'm not quite sure. So we'll just check it to be completely sure <coughs> that I didn't mess up my count. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Yeah, I didn't mess it up, which is good. So it's this block that <coughs> I'm flying after, and we want both of those to align perfectly. And we are almost 12 minutes in. I'm gonna have this a little bit shorter episode. Alright, so we're gonna put our. make it a little bit taller and put our lowstone on top. And move the lowstone on this one. Go to the next one. Uh, this one's gonna be a little bit more tricky. But not really, let's remove these trees. That are mostly in our way. Like that, uh huh. And I can do one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Ah, oh, these trees are in my way. They most definitely are. Oh, I did not mean to break that dirt. Or a crash block. Okay, like that. Okay. All right. Alrighty, like that. Oh, how how far did we get already? Uh, I lost it, my count. Oh well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty. Ah, uh, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Is that correct? Let's check again because we want to be completely sure. <coughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, did I accidentally go to 21? I might have. Let's count again to be completely sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah. I accidentally went to 21. And we're gonna check again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, <coughs> that's correct. So we'll go up here. And we're gonna check. Uh, not sure if 
it aligns perfectly. So let's check if it does. Oh, and it's saving. Yeah, I worked a little bit on the ver various configurations. For instance, making the server safe every 30 minutes. Decided to enable that. So that's a decent feature. And I guess it's okay also for. It's also decent that, that normal players can't see it. Alright, and then it's just one more. This one. After that I think we have a decent spawn size. Or, or maybe I do want to go even further. Not sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Come on, Trish, you're in my way. Ah, oh, forgot my count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We are at 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 18, 19, 20. So is this correct? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, <coughs> this is correct. So I'm going to move this slow stone. I'll go back here. No, no, where's this guy? Where is he? There he is. Now move those trees. No, no. Raise him up. Alright, so we can put lowstone on him. And now let's get rid of these. And do this. I'm gonna use well daddy to get rid of these large ones. Set zero. Alright, we got rid of that one. And this block should just delete. Like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's pretty good like this. Right? Let's see. Yeah, I think this is most definitely good. So we wanna set time, set zero. Also I gave regular players access to the time command. They cannot do time set but they will be able to do slash time to see what the time is in the world. I think that's a decent feature. Alright, I'm gonna move that block. <coughs> and that. Like that. Alright. And that one. And there's one more that we have to remove. Yeah, I think that is a decent size for, to begin with. At least I think so. But we can always make the world, the spawn protection larger. <coughs> Alright. So let's do it. I'm gonna go here. Alright, first position, and I'm gonna go to the other one on the other side. <coughs> I'm gonna fly over there. That was first position. And I'm gonna select this guy as our second position. And I'm gonna do expand vertically. I'm gonna do it from top to bottom so that players cannot break any blocks inside the spawn protection area. <coughs> and you're going to regen. Alright. Regen D. 
define spawn and you waiting has been made named spawn this waiting is now protected from modification from others don't want that use rt flag spawn pass through all mm, pass through hmm I'm curious I'm gonna test something and the cord of my headphones makes it really tough for me to try but I'm gonna try it I fly over here and I'm gonna do slash spawn alright can I get out of spawn on my alternative account Maybe it's easier to go in that direction, let me see. That direction is this direction, right? Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do. Don't know what the pass through does. So if I try to break a block and I get messages saying sorry, but you can't break that block here. So I'm gonna eat on my alternative account. Can I go through? Yeah, it looks like you go through, but you cannot break blocks. I'm gonna break blocks outside, just fine, but as soon as I go in, let's go to her and you'll see it from my perspective, as that is the only thing you guys can see. So, I'm using my little check, I go here, and you watch her trying to break the glass, but Error happens on her screen that says you can't break it because it's protected. So I'm gonna push my nightstand away, which I sometimes put my laptop on while I'm testing stuff. So, yeah, okay. Alright, now I'm gonna do RG region flag spawn. Alright. Ergia spawn. Was that it? No. Uh, how was it again? RG info spawn. Oh yeah, that's it. Region spawn. Flags none, owners none, members none. Any names affixed by X area last seen names may not be up to date. Okay, so that looks all nice. And if I make Miley try to place her dirt block, if you go over to Miley again, you see that she has her dirt block. And if I click somewhere, nope, you're not allowed to place this block here. Sorry, there, you are not allowed to place it here. <coughs> okay, that's nice. I'm gonna throw these items that dropped from the tree into the away because they are not let in a bit. Okay, alright, then we have our spawn protection set up. Alright, now I wanna add some flags. So I'm gonna go to the website here, I'm gonna find some world card flags. So, world. World guard flags 1.7.10 and let's do a zero instead of I accidentally did this oh I accidentally did this character instead of zero because it's very close to the zero on my keyboard so <coughs> okay Alright, where was it? Oh yeah. Pesu. Alright, here I have it. <coughs> Pesu, use allow to have reaching tweeters 18 and doesn't check build permission. Use this to make simple, no PHC. That is so. Mm -hmm. <coughs> use allow to have a reaching tweeters. 
have this already integrated as already and it doesn't check build permissions. Okay. But all members and owners will be able to build normally without changing this flag. Do not change it. Okay. Alright, members. Alright, I thought it was only owners, but it's members as well. So PAP. So you wanna block PAP inside the spawn area. So we do we do RG flag. How was it done again? RG flag. <coughs> I think it was spawn. This PP, yeah, PP deny. Yes, 18 PP set on spawn to deny. So, players will not be able to. So, if I do RTM for spawn, and we go to flags, and it says PP deny. So, players will not be able to PP inside the spawn area. And where are we on time? We have 26 minutes. Yet. So, mm -hmm. So, mob spawn, we don't want mobs to spawn, so, we're gonna go again, to, now we're gonna do mob spawning deny, so now mobs will not be able to spawn inside the spawn area, so, next is, yeah, we want mobs to be able to damage players, but creeper explosion we don't want, so so instead we go here and I'm going to do creeper explosion it's just like that and deny and creeper explosion deny <coughs> And we want Enderman Grief to be the same. Don't want Enderman to grief our spawn area, so. Enderman Grief. Deny. Alright. We have some pretty good. Alright. Sleep. Allowed. Alright. TNT. Um, that can be. Alright, that is. Alright, we have a place. Snowfall. Okay, and three. Okay. Guess you wanna do. Ah, uh, mm, we can do the notify later. Notify, enter, notify, leave later. So, I think that is all we wanna have on the spawn area for now. So, pass through, uh huh. Okay, PP, mob damage. Mm, actually, we're gonna disable mob damage. <coughs> so that players can be safe within here. So, and go up to our flag again and can I paste here? Oh yeah, I can awesome mob them is deny. Awesome. And we have our flag set up. So now we are completely safe around here. So if I get my leather leather which is how you check the area and do this app applic applicable region spawn. Can you build? No, but I obviously can because I'm an admin on the server. As I own it, that, it that I'm a, I can break blocks and I can do stuff. So, gonna put that down, open this again, and alright, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys later.